I think we're all pretty familiar with of specified Michael O'Sara. The example directed synthesis has been really, 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 really. tend to be easy to come up with, and it sometimes doesn't take many examples. Examples in an ad hoc, application-specific way. And these And we have to develop new theory and algorithms from scratch. And in the context of theories that have been studied in the past, First of all, examples can be interpreted as types. Specific and the sequent calculus is very popular in the automated theorem proving. the ability to generalize about examples and in much the answer so I'm kind of the synthesizer right now and this is the standard Greg data types. So this is just shorthand for the Here's an easy one. It maps the empty list to the number zero. Types. It maps all values of type empty. In fact, it's a type with exactly one inhabitant, the empty list. Part of this statement, that it maps all values of type empty list. Type empty list by just using the empty list symbol to, and context. Converting this into a type. And we could even do another example. Type. And thankfully, there's a type for that. Intersection type. To obey all three examples. And this isn't some exotic type. We have three elements that we've just seen. Singleton types, or singletons together into mappings and intersection types that allow us to code these sorts of examples as types. Okay, so what in type theory, we inherit a natural method for designing our synthesis. We've already figured out that our specifications are types. And Curry and So the trick here is to treat our specifications 
When it finds a proof, we treat the proof as a program that solves our synthesis. is a very popular framework for performing proof search. So which represents the theorem we want to prove. And finally, the proof itself Right rules that take a step forward in goal position to the benefit of the sequent calculus over other methods is that both left and right So this is the refinement we had before for list length, and we can Our synthesis sequence. It says that given an initial aim, so our first step is to apply the right each of which has a separate goal type. These sequence. We have three parallel theorems, all of which need to have the same proof. By the right rule for arrows. And this allows us alignments into separate argument and result components. Context, which is the argument of the function that we synthesized. And notice that x takes on a different value in each world. So we could read the first world as, when x has type empty list, we want to synthesize an expression of type 0. So the sequent calculus gives us a lot of choices in how we can move forward. And this non-determinism is the trickiest challenge of actually developing on x, applying the left rule for some types. Notice that our pattern matching branch generated a different subproblem for we sent the first branch got the world where x had type empty list. Apply the right rule for some types, which allows us to generate a So we can apply the right rule for some types and generate And then to solve the second branch, we again nice add length to the context and find a type that describes it. So what type We can use the left rules for intersection and arrows to break off to a variable y, and added that to the context let binding and generate our synthesized program. so far with this framing. Well, first of all, we've taken our synthesis and a synthesis strategy. And in general, we as a community have in the paper. One more benefit Way street. So when we mix types and examples, we need 
example, we have simple time. of that type. So we could write nat to describe all to say, for example, and note that the time symbol here is just a product type, a two arbitrary collections of function that maps both variables to, or both types to zero. For example, the Try to shrink the specific, the example-based specification. It's richer language. Specification by the number of AST nodes it took to write it. Since there's not of refinement AST nodes with examples, and the column in R. But if you saw more substantial drops of down to 40 or 50 percent, so let's take a look at the list nth function. So this is a natural number index. Nth returns an option containing either the indexth element of the list, if it exists, or none if it doesn't exist. And so here are the examples that are required to describe it in our prototype. So the nested intersection saves us a little bit of space. It provides us two different input and output examples for the second argument when the first argument is, in this case, the empty list. But we know that no matter what the other arguments are, calling nth on the empty list is always going to return none. You can't index it. So we can write that as a property. The empty list goes to nat. Eliminate another one by making a similar observation. Also produces none. to two of these examples quite easily. And so our system type just like an OCaml with a leading tick. And you can use it just as you make elements of a polymorphic type that can be compared for equality. So missing entries are those that we weren't able to make polymorphic, like but several below 50%. And so let's look at a couple of program like Compose, we don't actually need any examples at all. The simple Harry. So we have two macro examples that are argument. So now here it is with polymorphic. Increasing length. So this is a pretty big win over the previous specification. All the examples that we need. Just two lists of increasing length. So negation allows you to specify everything except the item that you're negating. Allow negation of singletons in our implementation. So negation ends up. Let me give you an example where this tool comes in handy. Remember the list. Notice this already. You'll actually get this function, and a in the list length program we wrote before, and we found this to be a very common. gives us a quick way to give the synthesizer a hint about what it's doing. Into a working prototype. And our goal with the prototype was to demonstrate implementation. We built the system in about 4,000 lines. The biggest challenge of using the sequent calculus is that it's put into the implementation. 
efficiently. And to do so, we had to pull a few more advanced Now, it that the sequent calculus would non-deterministically explore. And we wanted to richer specification language and tighter links to theory. And we're I'm going to try to walk you through the design process of dealing with one of the At the end, I kind of magically pulled out the recursive So every world, like decrement. And decrement has And our task is So we can suppose that our synthesis problem has for arguments. Useful in all worlds, so we can eliminate some paths from the search process. Meanwhile, the third case of decrement is useless to us. We in the third cases of decrement are useless, and the third case to traverse it efficiently. The order we explore them is we try to bring the performance of the system. Different combinations of one and two, and the other two combinations that explore these four And this is exactly the approach that a naive. But unfortunately, this approach blows up exponentially. This strategy was able to fight. In the first world, down to just one. And in practice, this strategy actually. We have disjunction at base type. Junction further into the junction disappears, so disjunctive search is much. There's actually no sound way. Contain tuples like lists. and performs very slowly on function in an unsound manner. include some expressions that the to make sure they're actually correct. So we tried kind of simple type, in this case nat, and then check include functions on booleans. Described, despite the much larger size. And in particular, larger granularity that ensures we get more So naturally, there are a few aspects of our system that I do. The sequent calculus algorithm with respect to a simpler synchronized
functions, which is another form of incompleteness. We also explore instantiating these polymorphic quantifiers yet. So have been hammering away at type theory for a long time. So there are thousands Thank you. Hi, I'm interested in the truly uh, and you could mistake data for length for stuff. The smaller benchmarks that we tried, we didn't see a substantial speed up from polymorphic. Um, a really nice, uh, really nice paper. Um, I uh, it's not some. It's not something that we've necessarily investigated yet, but. something that we want to incorporate.